Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I was speaking with one of my clients the other day and he owns the IM608 and he was just complaining that the type of customers that he was attracting don't really value the services that he's rendering. You know, they always try to negotiate or he's just track, uh, attracting, um, you know, clients who don't, you know, they're always trying to bargain price. So I told him, I said, well, why don't you focus on manufacturers that have a higher repair value, like, you know, your European vehicles. And I said, I can share with you a lot of simple problems that you can solve that the customer will, you know, they don't have a choice but to pay you that. So let me give an example. If you have a, a customer that owns a Mercedes and let's say their engine control unit is faulty, you can't take it to Mercedes and, and say, hey, I have a used ECU. You can't even do that uh, to a normal auto electrician. Like they, they don't know how to uh, configure it or what I'm going to show you is virginize it. OK, so that's what I want to share with you guys is, is this process when you're putting on used components on Mercedes, they need to be virginized. And that's what I'm going to cover today. OK. So what you're going to learn is how to renew a used engine control unit on a 2007 Mercedes Benz S class. OK, um, for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Curtis Harden. I'm an Autel Diagnostic Consultant. I align people with the right tool strategy and I render the support that you're going to see in this training to those clients. OK, so let's look at what you're going to learn by the end of this presentation okay you're going to find out which tools and accessories are required to do this procedure uh, common terminology the location of the engine control unit proper setup and connection with your im608 xp400 etc and step-by-step -step instructions on how to virginize the engine control unit and write the vin on the bench okay so this is what we're going to be using. First, we are going to be using the Autel IM608 Pro, your G-Box 2, your JVCI, and your DB15 cable, and your used engine control unit. Okay, and let me go over some common terminology when you're dealing with Mercedes. So. Renew. This is the process of wiping the data stored in the donor ECU. Okay. Another terminology that we also use is called virginization. And with Mercedes in particular, they have some type of like component security on that module where it's married to that vehicle. So even if you purchased a, you know, a good working uh, engine control unit or TCM unit, if you put it on the vehicle that you're working on and you program it and you code it, it's not going to start because those characteristics that that CS data needs to be uh, wiped away to allow the VIN to be written and allow it to be programmed and so forth. OK, so that's a rule of thumb you need to learn about Mercedes. Um, another term is the drive authorization system. So the drive authorization system is a way to, to electronically validate a car's key. Each key fob for this uh, system contains an EEPROM chip that stores a fixed serial number and a rolling code. The reason why I want you to understand this is because when we're doing the configuration or the coding procedure, you're going to see this option on there and now you're going to have a, a basic understanding of why we're doing this. Okay. Um, now let's go ahead and look at the location of the ECU. Very simple. It's pretty much right in your face. Um, and uh, yeah, very easy to get access to. And next I want to go over the proper way on how to connect. So you're going to get your, your, this is to, uh, a bench procedure. So you're going to have your IM608 tablet with your USB cable to your, your JVCI, your main OBD cable to your G-Box 2, your DB15 cable to the engine ECU, and then your power source to your G-Box 2. Okay. Now the first step 
when you're doing these bench programming procedures is to figure out how to connect to the ECU to get that information. So step one is to look up the diagram. So to do this, let's go ahead and go to the email option. And then we're going to accept the terms and agreements. Okay. The disclaimer, sign our lives away. And then we're going to go ahead and select uh, Mercedes. Okay. And once we select Mercedes, we're going to go to manual selection. All right, just give it a minute here. Okay, and then once we select manual selection, we're going to scroll down and we're going to be working on an S class. So we're going to select S and then it's going to give us the year. So this is a 2007. So I'm going to click the last option here, 2006 to 2012. Okay, system data initializing. All right, and a little bit of information, just confirming what we selected. And then now we're going to go to control unit. And then we're going to go click engine ECU on the top right. Okay, so once we click that, at the bottom here it says wiring diagram. We're going to go ahead and select that. And then it's going to ask us if we're using the G-Box 2, and in this case we are. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And then now we're going to select the type of engine control unit it is. So this is an ME 9.7, and the way you'll verify this is by looking at the actual ECU. It'll have a label there of what type of ECU it is. So this is an ME 9.7, okay? So once I identify that, I'm going to go ahead and click ME 9.7, and then we're going to have our schematic, okay? So you can see here, we have our G-Box, just like the diagram that I showed you, your DB15, your can low, your green, your can high, your yellow, red, and your ground, okay? And then you're going to plug those into the, the prongs there, okay? So now that we have that, we went to the bench, we had that set up, we're going to go ahead and read the engine ECU uh, data, okay? So let's just escape out of here. You're going to keep on clicking escape. All right, escape. All right, let me go back until we get to the uh, main menu. And then we're going to go click read engine ECU. All right, so here's all the characteristics of the vehicle. All right, and you can see it's married. This is all the information that was on the on that donor ECU. We got to get rid of all of this, okay? So once we've read it, okay, I'm going to click no because I don't want to save it. All right. Now we're going to renew it all that data that that we just saw we're going to go ahead and get rid of all of it okay so click renew engine ecu and once i select that i'll be presented with uh, a prompt here this function can only be completed on the bench please connect wires according to the wiring diagram prior to execution of this function all right so once we verify that everything is set in place on the bench we're going to be asked to continue and it's asking us do we have the G-Box. We're going to click yes. All right. And then it's going to have the uh, special key password. All right. And the Altel generated that for us by reading it. And then it's going to ask us, um, would you like to use that password to delete? Do you want to obtain the Razor password? Okay, okay, we're gonna press okay. Network to calculate password for renewing. So make sure you have good internet as well. Okay, so renewing engine ECU information has been completed. All right, so we're doing good here. Click okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and look at the next step. All right, which is writing the original VIN number, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and 
go to where it says right engine ECU all right and once we select that hold on. okay this function is not available for those types of uh, ECUs and other engine types all right it's not applicable to us so we'll click OK establishing vehicle communication okay so let's go ahead and uh, pop in the original VIN number of the vehicle that we're working with okay so let me go ahead and pop this in all right almost there okay and then let's see all right so once we have that there all right, we can verify it. You need to look at your uh, VIN number just to cross-reference and everything's right. And click OK. All right, so now that we wrote the VIN, we're done with that. So now we're going to uh, go to the vehicle and we're going to go ahead and install the used ECU. Okay, so remember that's where it's located. Okay. And then once we have that in there, we need to do the teach in drive authorization uh, process. So to do that, we need to go exit out the emo side and then go to the diagnostic menu. Um, as this has uh, the coding options that we're looking for. All right, so we're gonna go identify the vehicle. We're gonna click Mercedes Benz, okay? And just for you guys to know, if it's an older vehicle, the auto VIN detection doesn't work that well. It doesn't mean it's like broke. It's just, I, I noticed for vehicles from like 2010 and newer, the auto detection button on the upper left works a bit better. Okay. Um, so here, uh, I'm going to go to automatic selection just to verify if our VIN has been successfully uh, configured to the ECU. So we're going to go ahead and click read. All right, it's going to read the VIN. And there you go. The VIN has been successfully stored on the ECU. And then it's going to give us an option if it's left hand or right hand steering, it's left hand. We have a summary of the vehicle here. We're going to go to diagnostics. Okay, and then we're going to go to uh, control unit okay and once we go to control unit we're gonna go to drive that's where the engine control module is and we're gonna go click ME 9.7 motor electronics we're gonna go ahead and select that okay and then we're gonna go to control unit adaptations And then from here, we're going to go to learning process on the upper left hand corner. Okay. And then from here, we're going to go to teach and drive authorization system. Okay. So we're going to select that. And then from here, we just follow the prompts. All right. So procedure teach and drive authorization system consists of three of the following steps. The active, the transport protection, personalization, and activation. Caution, when the activation step is carried out, the control module is permanently distributed to the vehicle. So it, that's why we did the VIN writing first. Um, and uh, from here, let's go ahead and click continue. All right, please wait. And now it gives us a, the process the ECM to be identified with the immobilizer. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and click yes. So it's gonna read the ECU quickly. All right, VIN recorded in control module. There's our VIN. And then we're gonna click F3, teach and drive automation system, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and click that. 
The transport protection is detached. Would you like to personalize the control module? We'll click yes. All right, waiting for a couple seconds. All right, so now they want us to start the engine. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the engine is started. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and click yes again. All right. Control module is activated. All right, so now we're gonna turn the engine off and the ignition. All right, and we'll wait a couple more seconds. All right, so turn on the ignition. Okay, and then the control module will reset. And congratulations, we have successfully virginized the ECU module, wrote the VIN, and did the configuration procedure. Okay, it wasn't too difficult. All right, now a couple of things to remember when you're doing this procedure. I'll just give you a quick recap. Um, it's always good to make sure you have uh, the donor mo module needs to be the same partner part number as the um, original ECU. I always find people who, you know, they'll try to test their luck and get something newer or older than original. And there's always like some type of like configuration problems. Okay, so just try to get the same one if you can. All right. Um, second thing, used ECUs, particularly on Mercedes, cannot be programmed or configured unless they're virginized or reset okay use ECUs cannot be virginized or reset when you're dealing with these Mercedes so once you've done that then you can write the VIN in the email application and then you can do the teach and drive authorization okay so that's pretty much it you guys um what I want to encourage you guys to do is now that you know how to do this type of skill, put it out on Craigslist, you know, put it out on your, your Facebook that you do it for this specific vehicle. And then if you do get a couple inquiries that are not for this particular year making model, maybe you can contact your tech support guy and just find out, you know, if what the function route would be or if the tool is capable of doing that okay um, and then that way you're generating a whole nother source of income because uh, doing the virginization and the VIN writing that's all done through the bench so you can have a service where you know people are mailing you their ECUs and you're using the Autel you know charge them you know a couple hundred bucks to do this uh, procedure and it wasn't difficult okay so yeah, if you enjoyed this content, um, please comment, like, subscribe, and uh, thanks for your support. Um, I'll continue doing these type of trainings if, if you guys really gravitate to it. And um, you guys have a great week. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.